Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Trevor with Maker Experiment, and in today's video, I'm going to be covering how I make my custom laser cut foam inserts for my products. Let's get into it. To create my custom packaging, I used closed cell polyethylene foam. I will leave a link in the description below to the exact product that I use and where I get it from. It's been the cheapest source that I've found so far, as long as you're buying a full sheet. I do buy the full sheet and then I will cut it down into the size that I need for my product. That way I'm actually getting the most out of my money and it's a little awkward to store sometimes, but you definitely get the best bang for your buck that way. I have a project right now that I'm giving to a person locally that I actually want to make it look really nice in the hopes that it will help with marketing and things like that. So let me show you what I need to package and my approach to how I make my custom packaging. Here are the things that I'm going to be packaging in it. These are not finished yet, but these are the outlines of what I'm doing. So I'm going to have a set of four coasters. I'm going to have my own promo coaster as well as the sticker. I have a notebook that is just lined paper. And then this is going to be an acrylic sign that has standoffs in the corners. And the plan is to package all of this in this box. I did get this custom printed for me from a company called Uprinting. I'll leave the link in the description below uh, so you can see where I got it from. I actually bought these a while ago in the intent of using them for a specific product I was trying to do. Uh, it didn't work out, but I do still have the boxes, so I thought I would make the most of it. Now, on the back of it, I do have a QR code that you can scan. It'll take you to my website. But overall, this is the custom packaging that I'm going to be using. This is my plan. I'm going to put the notebook on the bottom layer and actually have the acrylic sign straddle it because with the standoffs, it will sit up higher than the notebook. So it'll cover it like this. Then I will have my coasters in stacks of two and then the bottom coaster down here like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take three pieces of this foam because it's about the same height as the box. These are each a half of an inch thick. I'm going to laser cut the shape of the notebook in this layer. And then I'm going to have the second layer be the outline of the sign, the coasters and everything else. And then the top layer will just be a cover so that it looks like this when they unbox it. And then when they take the foam out, it'll be the nice presentation. So I already took measurements of all of these items. Let me show you on the computer, the layout, what I plan to do layer by layer, and then see if this all works out. Here's my plan for the design. The white artboard is just the size of my laser bed. This blue rectangle is the foam size. So this is the inner dimensions of the box. My plan for the first layer of foam is to laser cut the spot for the notebook. And then I have these four circles to where the barrels for the sign will sit. So that way the barrels of the sign are nice and nestled and it'll protect the sign and make sure it doesn't move anywhere. For the second layer of foam, I plan to laser cut out the section for the sign itself, the section for the coasters, and then the section for my coaster and the sticker. So what I'm going to do is send each of these to the laser one at a time. I'm going to take out the border because that's already cut and ready to go. So I'm going to print this over to my laser software. So here I kind of see the foam sitting on the laser bed. Okay, in my settings, I do have a setting for vector cutting half inch closed cell polyethylene foam. I'm going to be using 18% speed, 100% power, 50% frequency. Uh, the settings might be different depending on your machine but I'm gonna go ahead and print this over to the laser and laser cut this layer out, and then we'll test fit it. All 
All right, the first layer is cut. If I put it in here, the notebook fits nice and snug. I went ahead and put the standoffs on the acrylic part to make sure this works. So I'm gonna line it up. It drops right into the holes and it won't move at all, which is a good sign. So the next layer is cutting around this sign. It's gonna be very thin around the actual acrylic sign. So we'll see if that holds up just because of the dimensions. But we should have this part over here once this is all done. So let's go on to layer number two. Now that layer one is cut, I'm going to go to layer two. On this layer, I have the sign portion of it, the coaster layouts. And then if I show the border, you will see how close this lands. So there's not gonna be a lot of foam left at the bottom or the top. Honestly, it may not work out very well here. We'll find out. But I'm going to hide that portion print this over to the laser. I'm going to go through and use the same settings that I just had for the half inch closed cell polyethylene foam. It looks like it's gonna take about a minute and 39 seconds and it does land on my material. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit print and we'll cut it out. Here is the laser cut layer. You will see that it is very thin on the top, as I mentioned, but I'm gonna fit it around my sign. So it's nice and flush. So I'm going to put two coasters into this one, two coasters into this one, and then I'm gonna have my piece right there. So this is what it will end up looking like. And then the last piece will be the top part of the foam and close it up. So the cool part about this with the custom foam is I can shake it, flip it upside down, do all this stuff, right? Open it back up. Foam is off. And the worst thing that happened was the foam pulled up. All my stuff is still secure. Nothing went anywhere. So in addition to making this look really nice and a great presentation for your customers, it keeps your stuff safe for transit and shipping. And no matter what they do to it, it should have a much higher likelihood of surviving FedEx, and UPS, and all the other companies. Just keep that in mind with custom packaging like this is that it provides two benefits a very clean look for your clients, as well as protection during transit. But that is how you cut custom foam inserts for packaging, or if you wanna use it for your toolbox, whatever it is that you need to use it for. I do highly recommend using closed cell polyethylene foam because it's less likely to have flare ups. It's less likely to kind of shrink and have those kind of issues. I will point out a couple of things about it though. So you can see up close, this is what the structure of the foam looks like. And let me try to bump up the ISO here a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. So you can see the structure of the side of the foam. With this foam, there's a couple of things that happen. If you let it sit flat, it will tend to change shape the longer it sits if it's not held flat. What I do is I typically stick this under something extremely heavy so that it will flatten it out before I stick it on the laser. And once I take it out from under that heavy object, I try to laser cut it as fast as possible so that it doesn't start to bunch up during the lasering process. I did have that a little bit on this job where the foam was sitting in the laser. I took a little bit too long and it started to bunch up and moved away from the top ruler. And that's why it was even thinner than I expected it to be, but it still worked. There are different ways to do this. You can put little clamps in the bed. You can put little barriers so that it can't move as much. Uh, but just know that working with foam is kind of tricky. It does have its quirks and how it moves and how it reacts to the laser. 
And once it does cut through, it can tend to bow up in that area. So you might see it lift up during the cutting process. You shouldn't see it really shrink at all. I know some people have had that issue with uh, open cell polyethylene foam, but with closed cell, it should hold its shape. It shouldn't shrink on you or anything like that. But again, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can get this kind of foam for packaging or whatever you might want to use it for. In this video, I'm purposely not showing you the exact product that I'm packaging. I'm showing you just the pieces that I'm going to be using. And this is because the video after this will actually have the printed pieces being boxed up. And I don't want the person that it's for to see it before I actually have it done and give it to them. I want to be able to give it to them, have them open it before the final version is on the internet. So check out the next video where you'll see the actual printed products and items that I'm making and putting in the custom packaging. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to try my best and answer every one of them. I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so that you know when my new videos come out and be sure to follow me on Instagram at Maker Experiment where I share things along the way. But I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you in the next one.